Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to your daily tea and tarot for Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. All them twos, two, 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 two. Uh, my apologies for yesterday. I did not do yesterday's tea and tarot. Um, yesterday, I... And my family had to lay my grandfather to rest. His wake was Sunday and his funeral was yesterday, Monday, September 21st. And my grandparents lived in Brooklyn. So I had to be in Brooklyn by 8 a.m., which means I had to leave to miss the cross Bronx traffic at like 6.30 in the morning. So unfortunately, the tea did not get done yesterday. Um, however, um, I am in a roller coaster of emotions right now. I can't really pinpoint the feeling that I have. Um, I'm sad, but I'm also happy. Um, I am happy because of what my grandparents left behind. They have built a really strong family. Our tree is very deeply rooted and the branches of that tree, which make up, you know, me and my um, my family, we are very we are very strong branches. And I'm just looking because I have all these pictures um, now because you know we're going through my grandmother's stuff, and I have all these pictures of my mom and my aunt and my nanny and pop up and myself and my sisters and brothers and my cousins and my god sister. I got all these pictures of us now that I could never have when my grandmother was alive because she would say, you'll get them when I'm gone. <laughs> she would not let me take pictures out of her photo albums. And when I tell you she has a load of them, baby, bookshelves, closets, photo albums everywhere. So we have a lot of things to go through. Um, and it's bittersweet. Um, I, will, I will always miss my grandparents very dearly. Um, but they both lived long lives, and they were inseparable. They definitely were. My grandmother was 40, and my grandfather was 20 years old when they met. And I hope that me saying this is actually inspirational to a lot of people um, who may have gone through divorces or may have never been married, you know. Um, you know, my grandmother had two children when she met my grandfather, so my mother and my aunt were not my grandfather's children. My grandfather was not my biological grandfather, but he was the only grandfather I knew. My father's father, nor my mother, and nor my mother's real father, stood up to the plate. We didn't know them. We only knew Pop Pop. And my grandmother met him. He became an instant husband, provider, protector to her and my aunt and my and my mother. And when we were born, he welcomed us like. We were his naturally born grandchildren, and I've only known him. And my grandparents were together just shy of 50 years before they both transitioned. And to me, that is a beautiful story because so many people expect to have it all figured out in their 20s. They expect to have it all figured out in their 30s. My grandmother met my grandfather when she was 40, and they were inseparable from that moment. Even even till death. I mean, my grandmother died August the 1st and my grandfather September the 13th. They weren't too far behind each other, you know? He wasn't too far behind her. So I just wanted to say that before I started today's Daily Tea, just to give a shout out to my grandparents because without them, I wouldn't be who I am today. You know, Nancy Smith is, she's the root of the root, the bud of the bud of the tree called life. Mm. And I'm going to miss them so much. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Today, of course, is Tuesday. Tuesday is the day of Mars. Tuesday's energy in Mars is all about getting things done, right? It's all about passion. It's all about actions, movements, making sure you take care of business. Make sure you initiate a new project, you know, that you've been trying to get off the ground. Start getting those plans in order. I have a lot of things that I'm considering now 
Um, and I myself definitely have some prayer, meditation, and some work to do. So use that energy today for that, if anything, to bring forth reality into anything that you desire, okay? All right. Spirit, do you have any messages today for anyone who may need it? Leo card. We have the strength card on the table. Bravery, confidence, moving forward with security behind you, you know? Knowing you can get something done. That's what I always feel when I see that card, right? Spirit, do you have any messages today for anyone who may need them? For Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Spirit, do you have any messages? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Put some more on the table. Okay. Well, there is someone who is definitely reflecting. I feel like this could be an air sign. It may not be. <laughs> you can have, you know, we all have air somewhere in our chart. So it just depends on exactly what you're. Is it depends on exactly whatever you're reflecting on. You know, it could be a matter of the heart. It could be money. You know what I'm saying? It, it just really depends. You know, so the air definitely could fall somewhere in your chart. But I see someone who's reflecting right now. They're reflecting on a reunion. Could be with a Leo. Very, very possible it could be with a Leo. But not necessarily. It could just be someone who's um, feeling brave, confident, and secure enough to reunite with someone um, possibly a baby, a party or an event or something of that nature. But I strongly feel reunion with that card. Okay. But someone is kind of like, they're doing too much. Things are a little off balance. Maybe they can't handle it all themselves. That's the two of pentacles reversed. And then we have the seven of swords. Now, seven of swords, I automatically think always about a liar. You know, someone's lying, hiding, or cheating something. But it's in reverse. So that's not my first initial thought. My first initial thought is either pathological liar or someone is trying to strategize and having a real difficult time doing that. You know, um, traditions, keeping a tradition. So this could be, this could be numerous things. This could be someone wanting to learn more. This could be someone wanting to do things more traditional, not um, not going against what's being what's being done, or not going against what is like what what it already is. Kind of wanting to keep things the way that they are, right? That's kind of what I feel a little bit with the hair fan. But we're gonna shuffle now. Bottom of the deck, seven of swords. Okay, someone could definitely be lying, keeping some secrets here. I always get that feeling, um, or I just got that feeling. Um, everything isn't what it seems. I mean, that's always the case, though, because, you know, people only show you what they want you to see, right? They're not going to show you the real. They're going to show you what, you know, what they want you to see. That's people. That's life. You know, you got to accept it for what it is sometimes. New relationships. New feeling. Hmm. Let's get some clarity on the table, right? Okay. Spirit, please clarify the strength card. What direction is this reading going in? Someone wants they're they they want they're they're moving towards fulfillment. Somebody wants to be with you. Like someone wants to be happy with you. Like you're their dream come true. That's just what I feel. Spirit, please clarify the strength card. Spirit, please clarify. Okay. Mm, but you can't. <laughs> well, they know they can't work with you. <laughs> and I say that in the humblest way. They can't work with you. And they want to. They want to be able to. So they're looking for a way maybe. Because like I told you, it's like there's a reunion here. Maybe they're looking for a way to, to approach it because they want to build with you, but there's some kind of difficulties collaborating with you. 
You know, it's it's hard for you guys to collaborate and build something, right? But I feel like that's really what they want. And they're trying to build up the courage because it's more than that, though. You know, it's a delay. Something may have interrupted the new beginning. Something may have gotten away of the new beginning. That's very possible. But they, the passion, they're feeling really passionate about you. They want to know what's going to happen. They want to know what's next. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what are we, what are we going to do next? Like, ooh, I got chills with that. Somebody definitely wants to be with, with you. Whoever this message is, you know, take what resonates and what doesn't. Let it go. Oh, where'd the card go? <laughs> it dipped away. And it was more than one card. Mm -hmm. But we gonna take them, cause looks like we need them. <laughs> no, seriously, there's the reunion coming. You're gonna reunite with someone, a friend. You're gonna reunite with them. And remember, I told you, Three of Cups, right? Clarified by Three of Cups. <laughs> Definitely reuniting, okay? And then someone wants to open up to trusting. They trust you emotionally. I feel like they, I feel. I also feel like they want to share their feelings with you. They don't know what they want to do because they don't have it figured out, but they want to share what they feel. So some of you should definitely be expecting a phone call or something. Not saying you'll reciprocate that energy, but that's what they they want. Spirit, please clarify the two of pentacles reversed. Mmm, something's not working out as they planned. Things are not working out as they thought they would plan or as, as things are not working out as they had hoped they would <laughs> or as, as they had planned. <laughs> Sorry. My, my scarf I got from my nanny house. I got another one too. I'm like scarf galore over here. I love scarves and my nanny has tons of them. So <laughs> anyway, back to the reading. Spirit, please clarify the two of pentacles reverse. I just feel like they don't like... Their manifestation didn't work. Like, this wasn't what they wanted. Like, okay, everything kind of fell apart. It's all balanced now. Like, why didn't my manifestation work? What is going on, right? Spirit, please clarify. Air energy. Again, remember I told you I feel like this could resonate with the air sign. Queen of Swords. I feel like either it's a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or they're who, or you're someone's realizing that it didn't work, and they're putting things into perspective, maybe to figure out why it didn't work, because they want, and this is what they want to share their feelings with you. Spirit, please clarify. Mm, new, they want a new beginning. They're gonna take that chance. They're gonna take it. They want to start over, though. They want to leave the past in the past, and they want to move forward. I definitely got that vibe. Spirit, please clarify the seven of swords reversed. Communication. They're trying to figure out how they're going to con contact you. Trying to figure out what they're going to say, first of all, right? Spirit, please clarify. They're unhappy. They don't like this. They're very unhappy. This is not what they asked for. This is not the, the unit or whatever they wanted with you, you know? giving like i feel like they're they're ready to give you something like they're ready to, to to give you what you've been asking for maybe but the crazy part is i don't think that you care i just don't and i'm just gonna be honest because i feel it spirit please clarify yeah they want to give you back what you lost they want to give you like they learned a lesson they want to they want to keep things traditional but i feel like they also they also want you are going to get what you what you They want to give you back what you deserve. I feel like things are just turning around. I really do. I feel like there's some kind of solution to this problem. Like they learned something while they were reflecting, right? Spirit, please clarify the hair effect. Yeah, this could deal with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces who has to express these things to you. It is a lot of cup energy, okay? So they may want to tell you something. Um, 
they've spent enough time reflecting. They've kind of burnt out about this a little bit. They spent too much time thinking about it. And they like, you know, they're, they're, it's finally to the point where they can move on now. They want to leave the past in the past, though. Like, I get that really, really strongly. And there goes the emperor in reverse. They, they realize that they were not in that place. Like, you know the place I'm talking about, right? Where you were giving more than they were giving. And now they want to give. They want to give. I just don't know if you're going to be beat, though. I'm just being honest with you. Because I don't know exactly who this is for. And it doesn't really resonate with me right now. It doesn't really resonate with me right now. Let's see what cards fell out while I was shuffling. Hold on, y'all. Keep the cards in order. Communication. And they don't like change. Let's see if they come back out, right? That's the death card reversed. Let's see if they come back out. Spirit. It's coming. An ending. An ending. Scorpio also energy with the death card. I told you it could be a water sign. Um, Scorpio is water energy. There is an end, okay? They're ready for it. They they or they they're getting ready for it. They're getting ready to face an end, and I feel like there is an ending, and then there's a new beginning, and the new beginning is very passionate. It's full of a lot of adventure and fun. Um. Very kind of like, not sexual, but like, what's the word? Seducing? Like very, very flame, like fire, like, you know, like passion. Like that real passion. I can feel that a lot. Like I really feel that. Spirit, please. Mm, hurt. Somebody's going through some hurt. They want to reunite and tell you how much they care. They are hurting. They really are hurting without you. They just don't know how to figure out what to do to go forward. Spirit, please clarify. Yeah, emotional. They don't have they they've lost control of themselves emotionally. Spirit, please clarify. The seven of swords reverse. Just gonna get a few more cards out here, y'all. Just a couple more. Spirit, please clarify the seven of swords reverse. Nine of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. They've noticed some things. And it's driving them crazy, too. Like, they in their head, a little depressed about it. But they've noticed that, for one, like, you're no longer watering the situation. Like, the, the, it's not growing anymore. It's just, it's, it's, it's nothing happening with it. I feel like they went in a, they went in the wrong direction. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. That they feel like they went in the wrong direction, and that's not what they wanted. Justice again, Libra energy. Definitely could be you know a Libra and a Scorpio, and someone is letting go. It could be the Scorpio letting go. This could be what they're burnt out about. This could have been what they were contemplating about for so long. Sorry, three of swords reverse. My bad. Let's get got one more cards. Is there any more messages? Mm. This is it's, it's, something is really delaying this relationship from beginning. Something is in the way. I'm just being honest with you. Something's definitely in the way, and it seems like what could be in the way may have to do with someone walking out of someone else's life. I think I did a reading on this Friday or two or no, not Friday. Um, it could be Friday or Thursday or Wednesday. It was last week. I did a reading about how some, some of you, your divine masculine or your divine feminine, like your other divine being that you're supposed to go through this life journey with, they're with someone and they're leaving or it's ending They're It's, 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 it's ending. And they're ready to give to you. Like, I hope you're in that spirit of receiving, you know. If you are a woman, hope you're in the spirit of receiving, you know, that divine feminine essence. Because that's what they want. And if you're a man, I hope you're in the, you know, 
the energy of your divine masculine and ready to give. Because if you don't, I will, don't go back. If you're not ready to open up, if you're not ready to share, if you're not ready to do those things, don't. Because I promise you, no matter if it's male or female, if you're not willing to give that, this other person doesn't want anything to do with you. I'm just keeping it all the way G. Like, all the way G. They don't want nothing to do with you. So, come with the love or don't come at all, baby. That's what the cards say, not me. All right, y'all, that's it. Oh, I didn't show y'all my tattoo. So I got a tattoo Friday by Zaddy Inc. I'm going to post Zaddy's link down below to her Instagram so y'all can hit her up and get you some ink too. She's done like all of my tattoos for the past five tattoos I've gotten. And the one that's on my leg and the one on my neck, um, it's a symbol of Saturn. So I'm going to post Zaddy's information for y'all down below. But I hope you enjoyed today's Daily Tea and Tarot for Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Um, if you're looking for a private, more in-depth personal reading, you can always email me at theblackcosmicoldron at gmail.com. Um, if this reading has resonated with you, comment down below because y'all know I love to hear it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share with your friends, share with your family, share with everybody, okay? <laughs> Just show you girls some love. And I will check you guys manana for Wednesday's Tea and Tarot. As always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Word is born. Peace. <laughs>